Hi, and welcome back to the Biomechanics of the Musculoskeletal System course. I'm Dan Bassett, and in this unit, we're going to be talking about basic segment kinematics. Now, what we mean by that is we're going to take the principles that we discussed in the previous unit, where we're talking about general kinematics, and apply them to individual segments within the concept of biomechanics. So each individual segment has its own coordinate system, its own shape, and everything about it needs to be completely defined. So for example, as we know, each segment is represented by a shape, which in this case is a truncated cone. And we need to know everything about it. So we have our axes on here, and that tract in space is go going to give us all the information we need to describe the motion of that segment. So what we're gonna face in this unit is how do we take those principles understand what they really mean, and apply them to our data. At the end of the last unit, we gave you an assignment, uh, giving you the static trial from the data acquisition with Jason, for you to play around with it and use principles that you learned in Visual 3D Basics to better expand your understanding of how to apply a model. Now, that biomechanical model that we dealt with in Visual 3D Basics was a little bit different than what we did with Jason, but very, very little. Just uh, a few minor changes, different marker names, but that's uh, the least of the issues that we probably were facing. Uh, there were just a few minor changes. The principles of it, though, still apply. Of course, we hadn't talked about all the theory before, so hopefully now you have a better understanding of the biomechanical theory behind the models and are able to apply it better. If there was a little bit of confusion, we are going to review that in this unit as we talk about how each individual segment is described. So, continue on to the next chapter as we apply that theory to individual segments.